Check, check, check one, two. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Churn Farms 2017 version 1.2. We are here to show off the map and uh, show off some of the cool new features that have made their way into this version. Let me read you the change log real quick, and I'll be referencing this uh, throughout the stream uh, just so I don't forget. Uh, I got as classic me, I am not prepared. So we've got dynamic mud. We've got the grazing mod for cows and sheep. A silver dragon. We've got the water trough mod. We've got traffic. Traffic has finally made its way to churn farms, everybody. That has been a, uh, a popular comment on my 24 day season series is uh, traffic. And then we've got Custom Sky, uh, the same sky that's on Midtown now and on Emerald Coast. Uh, we've got lots of scenery improvements. We've got we've got Will and House. Hey, Will. We've got uh, custom field buy icons, so no more uh, just uh, you know glowing little discs. Uh, the stop milk sales in the map, so now you're going to have to go sell your milk manually. Uh, no more hunting down chicken eggs. He's put them all in the coop. Uh, collectible gold nuggets. We're going to go on a nugget hunt just for fun. And wood chip storage. A farm alls forever. So, what about that nugget hunt? Well, there's the first one. We're going to explore. There's, there's a cache of nuggets that uh, I just found. Uh, Will was telling me that, oh yeah, they're easy to find. I've conveniently placed 10 of them. Real easy to find. Well, you know what? They were pretty hard to find. Yes, bale storage. That didn't make the change log that I've got because that actually happened this morning. So, bale storage has been added. Uh, traffic. Let's go check out the traffic while we're here. That is uh, it's kind of the big deal, I guess. Because uh, traffic has not been on the map since its inception and uh, has just gotten added uh, by popular demand, I have to say. That's right, the FPS mod, which, which I was looking at a building. Oh, here comes the traffic right now. I was looking at a building earlier trying to figure out. Oh, crap. Trying to figure out um, where the bale storage is because the bale storage is kind of hidden. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty sneaky. And I couldn't figure out where the bale storage was, so I hit the F5, and I was seeing triggers in buildings, and I was like, what is that for? And then I remembered the uh, the, uh, the FPS mod. Well, that's the mod that causes building, or um, implements and things to phase out uh, when you get a certain distance away. So we're just going to drive, the traffic is all over the place, too. And there is a fair bit of traffic. As you can see, this is a very busy road coming through here. Hey, Fabio, what's up? Now, this map will be uploaded to uh, FSUK for testing uh, later this evening. So if all goes well, what is today, Tuesday? If all goes well, it should be... Uh, Hopefully released, um, I don't know, within the week, assuming, uh, assuming somebody picks it up at FSUK fairly quick for testing. The traffic comes in and out of the, uh, the hole there, the tunnel. And I haven't been on this map for about five months. I recorded my last video in uh, late November, not November, late in January. And uh, when I fired this map up uh, yesterday to take a look around, it was kind of like one of those uh, one of those moments where you come home um, after being gone for for you know a few years, and uh, you know you move away or something, you come back and you're like, wow, it's, it feels like home. 
And then I was exploring this little area earlier, and I actually got to this point right here, and I thought, where are the greenhouses? And then I realized that I had put those in. <laughs> uh, they've been in there for so long that I just kind of forgot that I had added them. Uh oh Well, there's traffic now, Andrew. I have seen the two new maps on the Mod Hub. I was looking at them earlier today. Um, I'll be probably recording a uh, videos for those. Uh, might get one recorded by uh, by tomorrow night for a Thursday release. Next one would probably show up on a t next Tuesday. Um, so that's that's where they stand, probably for those. Let's go back here the back way into the uh, cow farm. I'll show you where some of the stuff's at. Then we will uh, buy up some bales and, and try out some of these storage buildings. First, let's take a look at this... Uh, New uh, buy icons. Churn Valley Real Estate. Got the uh, funky number and everything. There we are. What farm wouldn't be uh, complete without a uh, trash heap? Trash pile. It's an authentic. Well, I wonder what happens if uh, if we call that number. <laughs> it's if it's authentic. Although I'm not going to call it because it's an international call. That's going to cost me a lot of money. So, of course, uh, I don't think the starting equipment's changed. I haven't bought anything in here yet, so let's take a look at the starting equipment. Got the uh, fleet of tractors here. I remember selling all this stuff off for the most part uh, when I started the series, and it gave me a pretty nice chunk of change. Do get the uh, Coon Square or Round Bale Wrapper uh, Baler if you've got the uh, Coon Pack, the Coon DLC. So the first thing is notice we've got the uh, water trough little question mark blinks out. We can um, water our cows. Let's go buy a couple. Oh, uh, that would be cool to add some uh, farming classic pieces. All right, buy ourselves fifty cows, and we've got the uh, the uh, graze mod. So you can see up in the F1 menu, just use 20,000 liters of grass <laughs> for our cows. We had 70-some thousand, and now it's down to 53. Uh, grass trough. This is going to be over here. Okay, there's a, there is a delay in that actually showing up. Take a look now. So our grass is already there, so that's the wonderful graze mod working. Is FS17 worth buying now? I I would say it is. You know, they haven't announced. Giants has not announced when the uh, the update 
19 is coming. You know it's coming probably sometime this year. Uh, but we don't really know if if for sure if it's on track. Um, so we don't really know that. Uh, if it is on track, then it's probably going to be October, uh, from what I understand, uh, before it comes out. Go auto filled our our um, water trough. Of course, this is a water tank, so if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, you can just fill it from there. Got dynamic mud, so all this is muddy in the event that it rains. Now, I don't have seasons activated. This is where you're going to need to draw your milk out of. I don't have seasons activated, but if I did, um, we'd have different mud based on our moisture levels. Got the same fermentation silos here. Get our silage out. And then here's the bale storage. It's kind of hard to see, but if we walk up to here, you can put 180 square hay bales under this building, and it will auto-stack them. So uh, it's just like the GTX uh, bale storage barns. It's just it doesn't have the bale storage barn. Uh, instead, you're just placing loose bales in there. We're going to go buy up a bunch of bales and uh, put them in there. Hey, far hey, biggest fan. Welcome back. You over here now we've got uh, 54 round round straw bales going here so you've got storage if you want to do square or round around back this is where this is where I was checking things out and I'm like why is this trigger in this building what is going on here then I realized we had the FPS mod so around back here of course we've got our 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 uh, manure pit and this thing is really well hidden. I mean, if you don't know it's here, meaning you didn't watch this video, then you probably would never know that this was here. You can store round silage bales around back here. They'll just stack up right here by the fence. I think that is a really cool place to have, uh, to put that. There we go. We got grass in here now. We've already got some uh, some grass dirt. What are we going to do today? We're showing off uh, the updated churn farms that will soon be released over on FSUK. You know, I, I did a uh, pretty long 24-day season series on this map, um, so I'm really excited to see it get this update. Got grass showing up in here too. And Will is really well known for all these little details. We don't just have a building with a trough in it. We've got pallets. We've got an old uh, tire ring here. Feed ring. We got some boards. We got some round or we got some little square straw bales. We got some super old silage bales stacked up over here. Gate. There's these little details all over the place, and it really is, really is fun to just walk around and explore on um, the map, and that's kind of what we're going to do tonight, to uh, to kind of show it off. Not super worried about getting the uh, little nugget icons right away. I know that there's a ton more nuggets up here by the farm, but uh, that's fine. I know where I can get them. It's kind of odd seeing a, a different crop in this big field over here, up on the hill. Because uh, I had put grass in that very early on in the 24 day seasons play. So it's, you know, it's like, whoa, what is that crop doing up there? That's supposed to be grass.
So with the new course play, uh, it makes this field a lot easier now because you've got the uh, bypass island feature. Let's head on in here to the arable farm. I go. All that is mud, but it's only going to show up if it rains. Uh, if you play without seasons, play with seasons. Like I said earlier, it will uh, it will be muddy based on the uh, moisture percentage of the mat of the uh, ground. If you have a lot of rain, then it's going to be muddier than if you uh, had a long period without any rain. Let me show you some spaces that you may have played this map before and uh, you may have never realized that there are some pretty cool things going on in here. Got uh, a lug nut wrench. That's what that is. Jack. This is our uh, repair trigger. Customized trigger. So if we jump up here, here is the office ourselves a little laptop computer up here uh, boom box all this other cool stuff and the secrets are not over during my gameplay, I think I completely forgot about this building. I don't think I ever used it. But, uh, got a nice building back here. Lights and everything. Uh, the new course play you can get from GitHub. And, uh, you'll have to uh, download the zip. Uh, and then extract that and then make a new zip file uh, But there's there's lots of videos on how to do that on YouTube. Uh, I'd recommend uh, Grizzly Bear Sims is uh, his um, Course play tutorials so up here. We've got uh, this is kind of the old um, this map originates back to um, FS 11 and Back in FS 11. I didn't play it, but from what I've the history lesson that I have gotten is that back in the day, uh, you had a separate fill pipe for each crop type. So you had silos like this, where like this would be corn, that would be wheat, that would be barley, and uh, this would be um, sunflowers or whatever the other crop was. Uh, thanks for the sub, Aiden. And some of these actually have fill planes. So if you put wheat in this silo, you come up in here, uh, one of these will have a fill plane of wheat showing. I think the other fill planes are are in here also. And of course, you've got the silos around the side here for those additional crops that uh, came in. Nice uh, farm equipment that's sadly it's not usable, but. Farm equipment all over the place. Propane tanks for your dryers. Doing pretty good, Aiden. Thanks for the sub. And it used to be you'd have to come out like you, you'd have to know that this one was canola. You'd have to park under here to get canola. You'd have to know that that one was wheat and that one was barley and that one was corn. Or maybe they had signs or whatever, uh, but they're just uh, they're non-functional now. There's a common pipe right now out of here. Got uh, this is these are real cool. This is bulk seed and fertilizer at uh, discounted rates. If you didn't know that. So you got uh, bulk seed here and bulk fertilizer. At uh, discounted prices. We've also got seed here, but this seed is going to cost you a fortune compared to the bulk seed. Or 
where we've got Oh look here, we got another one. Spools, we got barrels up here, all kinds of cool stuff. These tires. Here you've got bulk fertilizer. Again, it's cheaper around the side. Hey Genesis X, I really enjoyed uh, really enjoyed playing the map, and uh, I think I think a lot of the enhancements that have been added to it uh, will really be uh, um, the really thoughtful enhancements and are things that I think players that are new to the map will really enjoy, and it might be things that uh, draw some players that played the map and uh, stopped might draw them back uh, into the map. I used to be on a farm in real life, but uh, moved away. And my game series, I, I found this forest up here. Um, when I was looking around, I was like, wow, look at all those trees. I forgot that I had completely clear cut this, uh, this forest over one winter and uh, it looks pretty weird with all these trees <laughs> trees here got a little forestry section up here and what I want to show you is something that uh, I did not really know about until after that it's not one of these is it Where is that, uh, where's that water, where's that gas, uh, jug? Got a, uh, got a couple of porta potties up here, so when you're using your, um, up here foresting. I really wish we had this cool truck that we could drive. It's just kind of abandoned down here in the woods. Still with a load of logs on it. I think somebody would have just took the logs off of it been in the woods so long it's buried down in the dirt. Okay, I thought you were telling me one time that uh, that one of these was a, a jug that you could carry around with you. Like you've got on uh, Midtown. Now, when I was clear cutting this forest, I discovered something and I thought that was it was so cool to have done that. Uh, you know, if we look here, it looks like this forest just goes back and back and back forever. And it does to some degree. But there is a, uh, a map boundary back in here that we're going to run into. And there's lots of trees behind the map boundary. There we go. We are, we are up against the map boundary, but there's a whole bunch of trees back there that we just can't get to. But it really does add depth to this whole forest. Thought that was pretty cool. Oh, okay. Hey, Chad, what's up? This is the only. Well, no, there's, there's. This is the only grass field that we technically own at the start up here on this hilltop. Nice overview of uh, of this quite quite a mountainy uh, quite a hilly mountainy uh, map terrain uh, we got going on here. Hey Fred, what's up? Uh, good night, Aiden. Hey, Huntmaster. Hey, John. 
Oh, we got 32 in here. So, how many of you all have played Churn uh, in the past, in one of the previous iterations? Like I was saying, this map dates all the way back to, uh, well, I guess it has its roots all the way back to, I guess I'm technically on the wrong side of the road. Uh, it has its roots all the way back to uh, Farm Sim 11. And then it was uh, brought forward to, uh, to 13. I guess, and then brought forward to 15, and then, um, and then uh, I guess Will did the 15 conversion and the 17 conversion. Here we've got the uh, the milk cell point. Said earlier we do have a stop milk sale reinstalled. Not we. I didn't do anything, but uh, Will's got the stop milk sale pre-installed, so. Uh, So you will have to deliver your milk. Just be cautious when you drive back here at night. There's a couple of milk trucks that show up. Oh, that's good to hear, Chad. I am forever going to be driving on the wrong side of the road. Just been so long with no traffic, I didn't have to worry about it. At least with maps that have traffic, I get uh, I get reminded what side of the road I'm not driving on. So look at some of these fields. I mean, these hills are like incredible. This is definitely not a map for MR. Do not even try it. You would need, like, the Big Bud 747 to pull a two-meter plow up those hills. Uh, are you, uh, are you a console player? Uh-oh. That's no good. Now, do you, do you have Steam Genesis X? Because on Steam, they kind of back up your uh, your game saves. Might be able to do some type of uh, cloud restore. Coming over here to the pig farm. Pig farm's got its own silo. You have a pig food silo. Get pig food out of here at a bulk rate. Let's buy up some piggies. So we can use the water trough. Okay, let me drive up there. The water trough. Of course, our slurry tanks over there, our food troughs over here. And we've got uh, straw bale storage and hay bale storage over here. So this is where we can store some round hay bales for our sheep. Okay. And over here we can store... Um, square straw bales for our um, pigs. You could obviously just place bales in here if you wanted to, or you could use this as a uh, auto-loading um, bale storage. The beauty about this is when they're stored in here, they're not uh, they're not going to be chewing up uh, chewing up your graphics, so they're not going to be slowing you down. Yeah, I think what I think MR disables the mud script. I think that's what I've been told. So here's another grass field. 
Uh, there really is only two grass fields on the whole map. Um, all the other grass that you see around here is non-mowable. It's a nice little trick that uh, Will likes to do. So anything that you that has kind of the uh, these wildflowers in is non-mowable. See where the wild the yellow flowers are. Uh, that's kind of the non-mobile, so you can't mow any of this up here. It's a nice little uh, gotcha. Uh, this is a PC only map. Got some vehicle storage in here. See, uh, see Will on some of his uh, flights in Flight Sim. Oh, I'll just take that. Thank you. Coming up to the sheep area. Sheep also have the uh, graze mod. Go up here and we look. Already dropped our number down, but we start with like 40,000 uh, liters of grass in here for our sheep. It up. I tell you, it was fun bringing the uh, bringing a water trailer and backing it in here uh, for the water trough. This is a great addition. See now we have grass for both cows and sheep thanks to the graze mod. It's a fabulous, wonderful thing ever. So uh, that way, if you have sheep and uh, you play seasons. From mid-spring until late autumn, you don't have to do anything but water your sheep. Assuming you have the, uh, you don't have too many sheep. Uh, this map will be uploaded to FSUK, barring any odd things that we run into tonight, uh, this evening. We're just going to kind of hang out and drive around and just explore the map for a while. Other than other than the enhancements, the map's not really been changed, so it's it's very well playable. I put close to 130 hours on the map uh, in playing with Seasons. 24-day uh, series. So here we have... A new addition. This is secondary forestry area, and uh, we've got wood chip storage in here. Open this. There we go. Just a delay. Dump your wood chips in there. I like that ramp. That's pretty slick. And I guess the uh, I guess the silo is solar powered. Hey, Aussie Medic. Hey, Jonathan B. Just up here showing off the changes to Churn Farm. Um, after after all the cool uh, cool stuff that got added to Emerald Coast, I think I think Will had the bug to uh, to go back and add him into Midtown, and then had the bug to go back and add him into Churn Farms. I really think this might rejuvenate the map and. Um, Bring pay people to the map that haven't been. I uh, haven't played the map before. And also maybe draw some folks back to play. Uh, that hadn't been on here before. Uh, not really. 
not really that big on uh, on subscriber count. I mean, I like seeing it go up and everything, but uh, I definitely don't live my life by what my sub count is. I just thought this dock was pretty cool. And uh, what do y'all think if someone made like a rowboat mod that you could get in and kind of kind of putter around the water? That'd be kind of cool. Maybe a, uh, a fishing mod where you could cast a fish and cast the line and uh, and fish the afternoon away. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, not yet. It'll be uploaded to FSUK sometime this evening for testing. Yes, it does have the Graves mod added. We were just talking about that. So, let's see, we've already we got 50 pigs and 50 or 50 sheep and 50 cows we've already got uh both of those um added in there we've got the uh water trough mod has been added in here traffic did you just see the car drive by got traffic in here oh this this field is is a beast this hill is a beast Like I said, with MR, you would need the big bud just to do uh, a little two-meter plow to pull up this thing. This is kind of the highest point on the map. There's an observation tower, but sadly we can't climb it. I got something in store here in a little bit that'll uh, give us a nice perspective. Let's uh, let's go in cab and uh, and let's go down the hill. Just, just watch the horizon go away. <laughs> uh, we are going straight down. Oh, uh, there we are. So one reason I really like this map to play with was uh, there's not a square field on the map. I guess the squarest squarest field is going to be something like uh, 22 down there in the bottom right or bottom left or 12. It's kind of squarish, uh, but you know, made you feel that the uh, the map is very uh, organic. You know, has nice organic uh, field shapes. Got a building here you could store stuff in. I stored bales in there that I had uh, excess of. Got a, kind of a third little forestry area back in here. Alright, you all ready? There we go. Got these reeds down here, kind of at the water area, kind of the wetlands. It's pretty cool. Now, the nursery area really doesn't have much going on. It's just, uh, it's kind of deco, but it comes out here to the beach. Hey, Barry. Oh, we might as well go on our nugget hunt while we're here. Is it? Kind of taking the back way into the uh, BGA area. Let's 
to the other side of this. Saplings are bought at the vehicle shop, all the pallets. I was looking for a place to uh, put the greenhouses, and I wanted to put them back there, but it wouldn't let me uh, wouldn't let me put them back there. Get back here with some trimmers. Oh, uh, we gotta go around here to this forestry here. Yeah, that's where I that's where I put them on the uh, on the twenty four day series is uh, This is how we cheat. Look for the trigger box. I think they're in the hedge. Oh, shoot. Oh, there it is. There it is, see? Do you see the little box on the ground? It makes it a whole lot easier to find them. Coming in the back way of the BGA. Today I learned a I learned a very cruel lesson here at the BGA during the play. Uh, there's apparently a car that parks here at some point, and uh, well, I had a leveling course going with this bunker. I think I basically had me going up and back, up and back. And he would pull up here to uh, to wait. Horseplay driver would pull up here to wait um, for the trailer that would come to unload. And apparently he was sitting up here waiting. And the time was right. Yeah, that's where the vehicle is because I can't drive there anymore. Uh, the time was right. And this vehicle just pops into place. And next thing you know, the tractor's like high up on it, on top of the hood. Uh, all four wheels off the ground. It's rather funny, I thought. Basically, had to fast forward time to, uh, to get the, uh, to get the tractor down.
Oh, that's interesting. That's why I'm running into things that are uh, kind of phantom. I think it was recorded. I think it was one of the, an off uh, an off camera video or an off camera gameplay when that happened. Here we are at the taverns. Not much has changed there. There are a ton of nuggets over here at the dock. It's probably like 30 over here. So there's mud in... I didn't realize there was mud in these fields, but there is some mud in this field here. Because uh, basically when I was playing the map, I disabled the mud because I found it was uh, pretty difficult to get around because it, uh, it was pretty deep mud. But with dynamic mud, it, it makes it nicer because if you don't have uh, if you don't have rain, then you won't have much mud. Over here, we've got uh, lots of nice fill triggers. We've got water, we've got seed, fertilizer, we've got fuel. More fertilizer. I, I guess that's liquid fertilizer, and that's liquid fertilizer. It's yes, Midtown has gotten updated. It's over at FSUK. It has dynamic mud now, also. So basically, all of uh, all of CCS 101's maps, um, Churn, Midtown. And Emerald Coast all have the same features: dynamic mud, graze mod, uh, water fountain, or water trough, uh, FPS. Uh, it was lime okay? See where that discoloring is up there in the field? That's where mud is. Uh, yep, there's nuggets. Oh, it's, yeah, we'll say nuggets. I never used this area much down here, but we've got uh, root crop storage, grain storage. And the idea of tipping grain on the ground just, it's weird to me, but that's. It's just not what we do here in the States. It's the kind of thing you're into. Well, you, you got plenty of buildings over here to do it. 39 watching. That's great. Lots of people came out to see the updated churn farm, it looks like. You know, is this another one that's in the tree? I found me some nuggets in the trees on Emerald Coast. Look at that. There's evidence here. Well, this is really this is really a tour, kind of a revisit of the map, and the fact that uh, you know all these changes have been added. The map's been available for quite a long time.
In fact, I played uh, played the map with uh, 24 day seasons. We played uh, two game, almost two game years on the map. Thanks for the sub. I didn't catch the name, but we'll I'll catch it. What is that? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, all of the change. If you are playing this map now, all of these changes do not affect your save game. Um, so you can uh, you just drop the updated map in once it uh, gets released, and take advantage of all the features, and at the same time have uh, um, at the same time not have to worry about losing your progress or having to repeat anything. Yeah, the map is well played. I have no doubt that the map is functional um, in, in any respect. Nuggets were added, so we're just really going around. That's pretty much what we're testing tonight is just nuggets. This nuggets was just added. Traffic was added. Got the fuel... We got the oil stains on the ground. Does not it's across the street. It's not in another tree. Hey, SMA clean and green. Again, let's let's summarize some of the changes to the map. Uh, we've got the graze mod. We've got the water trough mod. We got bale storage mod. Uh, we've got GPS mod added. Not GPS, but the FPS mod. There it is. We've got nuggets added. Uh, traffic is now added to the map. Uh, I know there's some people that say that they don't play any map unless it has traffic. Well, this has got traffic now. Um, water trough. Oh, we already mentioned the water trough. mod we mentioned. Uh, chicken eggs have been moved into the chicken coop, so you don't have to run around and hunt for chicken eggs. Uh, got a new sky. Dynamic mud. All this, all this decoration, all this cool stuff that uh, you don't really see unless uh, unless you go around looking. Just spend you could spend hours just exploring you know, areas of the map that aren't really affected by gameplay. We got uh, we got dirty vehicles in here. This is kind of the uh, you know, municipal storage. This is one point two. Uh, it will be uploaded to FSUK later this evening for um, for testing and then release. Just kind of testing nuggets because that was added to the map. Uh, we're also going to test bale storage here in a bit. As we get done, bale storage was added to the map. Um, so it's the GTX script. But it's actually the bale storage that um, came from... That was enhanced by Farmer Andy and uh, showed up as an available option for the Hoff Bergman map or Hoff Bergman Reloaded. They, they, those, uh, that iteration is much more realistic to uh, a bales being stacked under a shed. So it's been incorporated in the map where you can bat stack. Square and round straw bales under a uh, 
under a building. We're going to explore parts of the dock that I've never been to. Just hunting down nuggets, I know. In fact, I think, I think, do you want to, um, do you want to tell people if, uh, if maybe the Hoff Bergman bales might show up in, um, in a future update of some other map? Yeah, I know that's why you put the nuggets where you put them. That's it's always a great thing to do to put nuggets where you want people to explore. Find those little hidden gems that you have hidden away. Oh, thanks for the sub, Devon. Oh, look at that. Icky. Ah, oh, Rocky Mountain Farms. That is the work in progress. Here we have slurry story or slurry a slurry cell point or digestate one or two. Hey, GTX, what's up? It's our animal buy point. You know we're going to have to go check out the potato area. Or where the heck this nugget is. I feel like I was just walking around it. Does it feel like I've just been walking? There it is. I have just been walking around it. It's in the roof. Mountains of sugar beets. We got a nice wheel loader in here. And somebody went and dropped some. Of their, uh, they get paid in gold around here. 
drop their paycheck. And then we got this awesome area. If you've never been back here, seriously, you need to come back here and check out this um, potato area. Got a cool conveyor belt here. Kind of sorting and cleaning the potatoes, I guess. That looks almost like you could... This old Massey back here. One more up here. I'll run back there. Find nuggets near bale storage. I want to be nosy. How do we? Hey, what's up? Uh, in the weekend? Yeah, I'll probably stream something this weekend. I don't know what it'll be. Might be Germantown, it might be Valley of the Old Farm, it might be Emerald Coast. Uh, here in the next day or two, uh, the Germantown, there will be a bunch, I'm hoping there will be a bunch of cornfields ready to go. I thought we got a couch back here. Here's our wool cell point. A lot going on in here. Uh oh. Well, that was pretty cool to have this, uh, this modular office inside the building. All this stuff we got going on in here. John Deere parts. Old rope. off the map. Fall in the water. Ship out there. Virtual junkyard back here and kind of the corner of the dock. Definitely never came back here during the regular gameplay. Nugget in the bus? It'd be cool if there was a nugget in the bus, I guess. Yep. 
bus gets around, that bus was over on Law Folds, wasn't it? I have a VW bug. Well, there we are. Back here. Inside. Of course it is, right there. Sometimes they're just hidden in front of you. That's what makes this fun, isn't it? We're going to get those later. We're going to have a fun way of going around and picking up the stragglers. Let me just tell you that. Speaking of Hoff Bergman, I think we're going to be, uh, I think we're going to move over to that map once we're done Germantown. Now we got, we got, uh, Ken, who is, uh, already one, he's, he's already volunteered to be the, uh, trash collector for the, uh, map. I think I'm going to try to run the, uh, the horse and the chickens. Should be right there. It's probably to the side, isn't it? Never even saw it, but I heard it.
There's another egg cell point. I don't think I ever sold eggs at that one. Oh, I forgot to. Bet it was there. Hey, Kevin, what's up? Some houses there, or cars that are parked there. Never did take the little walking path. Pretty good around and exploring the walking path. And early on, these uh, fuel pumps didn't work. Remember, I staged a video where I was going to come here. At, well, it was the end. I was going to come over here and refuel and leave out of town, and these pumps didn't work. I had to put in a placeable pump. Got a generator back here. Never knew there was a generator back here until I was nugget hunting. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. We're just hanging out here. Just exploring the updated churn farm that's that's soon going to uh, be put up on FSUK for everyone to get. Let's see here. Where do I want to go? Back over here to, uh, to kind of the... Uh, now, when I was doing the map, I called this the community garden over here. Kind of a, a little farmhouse. It's got a bunch of uh, little garden plots with crops growing in them. This road is very busy. It's the only road in and out of town, I guess. Ha <laughs> ha! Just split them. That, you'd think I could actually drive. Got a nugget over here somewhere. But it's probably up here on top. Where is it? Oh, the sign? Yes, it is. Yeah, so over here, this is where I had put my greenhouses. So I was kind of like, oh, where did the greenhouses go? I remembered, oh, I, I put them there. I like how we got different, uh, we got corn at different stages here. We got all the different stages. Kind of already see what the crop's going to look like at, har at um, rated harvest, the last growth stage, and uh, a couple of the other growth stages. Got, talking about the details, we got a light tower here. Then we got an electrical box, electrical panel on every light pole scattered around here. The seed point.
Uh, you see my comment about this thing? It's just like uh, the early copy of Emerald that I had. Uh, I can fall through the top. I don't know if you want to put a collision on that before, uh, before uploading it. And we got the giant satellite dish. It's always been a uh, inter interesting feature of the map. There's the little green box. There it is. Got a tractor in there. That is one of the tractors that we can use. Storage in here, so you could set yourself up to have like a little farm over here if you wanted to. That's what I thought. Sneaky, sneaky. And what was that again? That's a, uh, like a water tower or something from, from a previous iteration of farm sim. Guess we got to go back here to it. water tower. We got some, a nugget here at the trash pile. Ah, uh, thanks for the sub. How do we just subbed? The glowy yellow, glowy yellow is. I know it'd be cool to have a uh, a little handheld mod that was like a uh, metal detector. That you could activate when you're going around looking for nuggets and you got the little beepity beeps uh, when you're getting close. Be kind of neat.
Where is this one at? Staring at it the whole time. If it was a snake, it'd have bit your head off. Oh, that's that's depressing. About the truck. That's the problem with so many, uh, so many American trucks. Uh, they just, they just don't have an interior. They're just all show and, uh, no, well, all go and no show. How about that? We're almost done the nugget hunt. I know we got 30 to go, but we really only have 20 to go because I already know where uh, 10 are. I've just deliberately not uh, gone to them. Side up. There's the Coon combo wrapper you get if you've got the Coon DLC. I think Will still maybe uh, got a trick up his sleeve. He said something about maybe, maybe adding a... Uh, Classic DLC item or two. Enough time should have passed. We should have some um, eggs in here now. Always had trouble getting that one egg that's over here in the corner. Didn't ever get it. I had to. I kind of had to go outside and squat and kind of get it. Again, if you're coming late, uh, it's got the uh, bale storage script in here for square hay bales. Be under this building, and or square straw bales and round straw bales. Be in under this building. I don't know how gold grows up in these trees, but it sure does seem to do that. Gotta get your kid out here to climb the trees. Around back here, there is silage storage. I think the um, I think the classic DLC is well worth the money. Uh, it's five dollars American, four ninety nine American, depending on how that translates to uh, to whatever currency you are in. Uh, it's the cheapest DLC, and uh, it's got all kinds of nice fun stuff in it. If you're into some of the older um, older things. 
Uh, the Coon DLC, I think, is uh, is worth it if you if you play with uh, smaller stuff. If you only ever play with big stuff, then then it's probably not worth it. But if you play with small stuff, definitely is worth it. Play with big stuff, then uh, you know the big bud could be useful. Here's the stash of nuggets. I was like, oh, there's ten. They were pretty easy to find. I'm like, what? Not easy to find. Now we got fourteen. One, two, six, seven. And jump to the gas station and not get stuck inside. That's always cool. It's always annoying when you uh, teleport to a gas pump and you end up being inside the gas pump. It's never nice. Now, the Modern Classics one is not available on Steam, the last time I heard. Uh, it's only available through the Giants website. If you have a Steam version, you can buy the DLCs directly from Giants. You're not, you don't have to get them from Steam. Now, you know, some, some useful benefits to getting them from Steam, but you don't have to. Remember how I said we were going to have some fun hunting down these last few? Well, the way I understand it is... The way it was explained... I got stuck because of the trucks. The way it was explained um, on the Giants forums was that... Uh, Look, there's solar panels up here I didn't even know about. Um, is in order to get the DLC out with any resemblance of of speed, uh, they couldn't go through the normal um, distribution channels like Steam uh, because there's there's a pretty significant delay in in how long it takes to get things out. And you've got to go through big distribu distribution channels, uh, like like with Steam. So the fastest way to get the DLC out to users, uh, once I guess it was tested and finalized, was to just uh, just put it out there through their their own distribution. That's at Giant's website. That's also why it's currently a PC only and not a console deal. Is that to get the DLC into the consoles? Well, you, then you gotta bother with uh, you gotta bother with. Um, it's like I knew where some of these already were, huh? You gotta bother with Sony and Microsoft and everything. So I had lots of fun comments about using this fun uh, helicopter on uh, Thunder Valley. Thought we would. Uh, Give it a fly. Those last few nuggets.
The straw harvest is nice. It is kind of expensive, though. Got road work going on here. Or is it up in this tree again? It's underneath. Am I right with the story on this? Is uh, you were having problems getting the road lined up, so you put uh, gravel here? Or is that, am I mixing that up with a different map? This one flies real nice. Very easy to control. It's not like that uh, the drone. I can never, uh, I can never get, get the hang of flying. This one flies very, very nice. But we're going to try to uh, I've never hauled a log with this thing yet We're gonna have fun with this too. Oh, is it already disconnected? Okay. got kind of a uh, underneath camera oh let's let's haul our logs <laughs> oh like I said I never you oh what do we got going on
Take these over to the log cell point. Now we can really look over the map. There's BGA down there. You see the elevation change. We're at uh, we're at 40 meters, 38 meters, and now we drop off to uh, dropped off 50 meters just going down that hill. That was fun. All right, let's get these. Let's get these nougats. Well, this helicopter is from that uh, that modder that does the logging maps. What is it? FDR logging or something? It's just. Uh, just put this down here on the beach. Oh. soda and vending machine these are cool because they're lit from behind Oh, this is a uh, this is one of the ones that we can go up. Like the uh, it's a Rathlin Island one. This one's got a more. It's a little smaller. Kind of hard to get up here. At least on Rathen you can't jump off the uh, jump off the light the light uh, lighthouse. This is a fun little mod. That's for sure.
This is the last one that I see. I don't think this is 99. Is it? Cheat time. It's not way up there, is it? Oh, it's on the other side of the fence. We're at 97. All right. Let's see here. Walk to the edge of the map. Don't find it. We'll have to. I'll have to pull it into. Uh, I have to pull up the XML and figure out which nuggets we didn't find, and then figure out where they are. Check the port. Down here. One. More. Behind the building, behind the slurry cell. for the green boxes and these buildings what buildings towards the ocean uh, one One more. Sheen shelter. it is they are all obtainable just some are super hidden that's a giant's bug with respect to things at the fringe of the map all right said we we're going to play with uh
Um, bales. That'll be good. At all. Does that have a hitch on the back? Oh, I guess I can't hitch them together. Oh, well. All right, that's fine. Get some square straw bales. Some round ones. Silent bales. Hey Ryan, what's up? Yeah, that should be enough bales. Auto load on there. Alright. Gonna run these over to the cow farm and just check out and see how that works. Oh, well, thanks for coming by. We're just uh, showing off. Uh, some of the changes to 1.2 of Churn Farm. Churn Farm has been out for quite a while over at FSUK, uh, but it is uh, getting updated with some some cool new uh, storage, uh, bale storage, uh, the graze mod, which is what allows you to auto feed your sheep and uh, cows grass, as well as uh, I think it's this one, right? Let's see how this works. Oh, no. Oh, those are hay bales. Round straw bale. Okay. Square, square hay bales, round straw bales, round silage bales. All right, that's, that's no problem. We know where square straw bales are accepted. Let's go down to the pig farm. That one wanted uh, round straw, didn't it? Ah, uh, both.
A lot of square hay and round straw. I will go back and look at it. Uh, so the trailer wanted to roll there. Uh, so let's go over the change log again. So we got dynamic mud. Uh, we have the graze mod, cows and sheep, the water trough mod. Uh, traffic has been added with right-hand drive uh, vehicles. Uh, custom sky box like uh, uh, Emerald Coast. Uh, scenery updates, just random scenery updates. Uh, custom buy field icons. Uh, stop milk sales been added. Um, eggs are now over at the... Uh, Eggs are over at the, um, are inside the chicken coop. Uh, nuggets. And, uh, wood, wood chip storage. And, uh, what else we got? We got, uh, um, oh, these bale storage. See how that works. These aren't real bales. You can't come up here with like a uh, for a front loader, pick those up. It's not. Um, they're not real. Uh, they just are stacked there. Come up here and you say, "I want uh, give me 16." And you're not standing where I was. <laughs> uh, that was funny. I'll spawn out 16 bales. So this is only straw. See, you can't toggle. The only straw bales are stored here. There's hay bale storage over here. Round hay. See, I can't toggle that. hay bale is obviously for the sheep. The uh, straw is for the uh, pigs. And then at the cow farm, there is hay, straw, and silage storage. I'm going to pick these back up and uh, then we'll run back to the cow farm and check that out. Stand here out of the way. So we can put 180 square bales in here. And when they're stored, they're not actually there. They're just... Uh, they're low poly uh, representation of the bales, uh, which basically means that you can uh, you can have a bunch of bales stored without uh, sacrificing um, performance. It's cool.
quite a uh, performance hit to try to render um, a bunch of bales. We're going to go the back way. Does beat the heck out of manual stacking. There's the wood chip storage that's been added. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea how many times I have driven down this road to get over to the pig area. The right here would be a bunch of mud if uh, if we had seasons turned on and the ground was moist. Or if you're not playing with seasons... Oh, we didn't uh, open that gate. If you're not playing with seasons and it's raining, you'll have mud. But if it stops raining, you won't. Chat, that accident is brought to you by chat. I think I see now. Square straw. Ah, I see now. See, it's real hard to see. Um, at least it is for me. Right here is square straw. And over here is round straw. The round straw is outside because when it's full, uh, there's a tarp over it. That's it. All right, let's. See the bales just getting stacked on in there. Put 180 square bales under these buildings. That is a ton. And uh, we're going to bring silage bales around back here. Silage bales will go in the back. Pick up some uh, brown bales. Got to look out for traffic now. Not used to that.
We'll take the right ones, the left, the rest of the ones we'll just unload in the back. Come back and pick up the rest of those. And square hay goes in this first shed. Square um, straw goes in the second shed. side of the hedge. Oh, no, I did it. Now I did it. Oh, I did it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. we have that's up here how big you are that's basically the map guys that I wanted to show you want to show how this stuff works I just got to uh, somehow destuck these things Made the wrong turn. Seriously, in the last two months I've hit that button, I don't know how many times. It's been a year without ever hitting that button. get a good run on things I run into all kinds of st stuff are you kidding me this is how you get stuff stuck that's what we're demonstrating here Demonstrating how you get stuff stuck. Try getting the I tried on hooking the trailer and I couldn't I couldn't go anywhere. I 
That's all right. We'll get it. Yeah, and I couldn't get it cut. Couldn't, it's one of those, you know, trees that didn't cut very well. All right, take two. Bring it in, what's up? You see, I'm just doing a horrible job presenting this. <laughs> oh, an absolute horrible job. Oh, and I don't have game extension in, so I can't pick them up. All right, well, you get the gist, right? You get the gist. That's how it works. Silage bales are back here. I don't want to accept straw. Hey Jared, what's up? There we go. Got the silage bale accepted that time. Basically, get the gist. They stack up there, and uh, they're full. They will. Uh, they'll get a tarp under them, I think.
or horrible driving. Alright guys, well that's about it for the night. You, you've seen how not to drive around these things. <laughs> that's for sure. Now that one is kind of tricky to get to. Really, you're probably stuck there. Really, you'd be back in the trailer in from this way and not trying to drive around the stupid tree like I was. But, uh, that's how they work. Pretty cool. Pretty slick. Run up here. It's like the bail storage buildings. Probably will break it if I do that. Oh, there's no... Uh, the bales got scattered all over the yard because I did something completely stupid. And, uh, managed to get stuck over here, so I had to, uh, reset stuff because I got, I got stuck between two trees. And I couldn't go anywhere. So guys, that's Churn Farm version 1.2. It's going to be updated over at FSUK sometime soon. Uh, I was just, uh, given a luckily lucky privilege of being able to now it moves of being able to uh, come up here and show it off uh, before the update or you know show off the update of course silage isn't accepted here it's accepted around back So if you've played this map before and you're interested in playing it again, if you've never played it and you want to play it, uh, give a look out over at FSUK because it should be coming in um, to a, well, it should be coming to FSUK very soon. Uh, after it gets uploaded and then gets tested. Uh, thanks for the sub. Let's get up. Let's get. Let's get stuck again. Why don't we? Right. This is what happens when you do stuff late at night. around. Hey guys, do you have any questions before I end the stream? I've completely given up hope of being able to uh, salvage this. This uh, failed disaster. If I had game extension in, I'd just manhandle the bales around.
Alright guys, like I said, this will be coming up on FSUK very soon. But thank you guys for coming out. We had a great crowd there earlier. Still got a great crowd. So until next time, happy farming.